And Boaz ate and drank, and uh, his heart was merry. In other words, grain means the resurrection, right? Mounted with resurrection, yet the resurrected one descended to her level. You get my point or not? I mean, he should go to the top of the green, right? And lay down there, right? It's all mine. But he has a heap of green, so much resurrection there. Yes, he seemingly with all this, yet he descended himself to where Ruth is. So he lay down. He didn't depart from resurrection because he is a resurrected Lord. But he is at the edge of the resurrection, so that Ruth has a way to approach it. If that is, he got imagination. What a resurrection I got! I like to be on the top. I like to be in the heavenlies all the time. None of us has a way to even enjoy the full salvation. Praise the Lord! But he went down, right? And、uh, lay down at the end, in other words, at the edge of the heap of green. And she came and secretly and that、uh, covered his feet and、uh, lay down. Oh, she did exactly. It happened. Praise the Lord! It happened.、Amen. When the older sons tell you, follow the Lord, and you follow, and Lord bless you accordingly.、Amen. Nothing scary happened.、Amen. Then what?、Uh, and.、Uh, At midnight, the man was startled. Yeah, so all of a sudden, possibly she stretched her leg or something. Could you read Song of Song, chapter four, verse nine? Song of Song. That's a portrait of stuttering. You have it. Read it loud. My sister, my bride. Amen. You have ravished my heart. Amen. Amen. You just look at me. I lost my soul. That means ravish my heart. Do you get my point or not? I'm I'm no longer myself. The Lord is speaking to a Jesus lover, saying, "When you look at me, I forgot I'm the Lord." That's exactly what it says there. Right. Go ahead. With one strand of your necklace. Yeah. You just look at me. I'm captured by you. Do you believe the Lord speak to you like this? Once you say, "Oh Lord," and Lord says, "I'm gone, I'm gone, I'm captured by that dear sense, because he is so lovely, or she is so marvelous. Why? Because with her there is a strand of the golden necklace. With you there is some divine element. The divine element you possess, which matches the anointing." The clothes, right? The divine element you possess now capture me. You know when he touch something, he got scared physically. Spirit, you say, when he realized someone loved him that much, he got scared. Could you believe we can cause the Lord to be stuttered? I like it. The more I can stutter him. The more I will be happy.、Amen. I hate to say every time he sees me, "Oh, brother Titus, you are so calm." Sister, are you calm? Not all Miguels are calm. Every year there are a few thousand graduate from Miguel, right? Right. The campus is beautiful, but student could be lousy. Calm. Even you graduate as a top student, you can still be calm. But one thing. These are this is uncommon with Christians. Christian can say, "When I look at the Lord, Lord is captured by me." So the Lord wake up, boys wake up, and what? And、uh, he was stuttered, and he turned over, and the woman was there laying at his feet. Here is one consecrate herself in such a humble way, no bragging. You know, when you were young, you consecrate. You can't see his tears, right? Lord Jesus, I have future. I don't want my future anymore. Lord, I love you. Lord, I have a career. I don't have a career anymore. I love you. That's because you don't know you don't have a future. You don't have a career. What do you have? Nothing. But in your first great consecration, you don't feel that. I remember years ago, when I consecrated myself, so much tears. Lord, I do not want the world anymore. 
Lord, I do not want anything. Lord, I do not want my life. Lord, I do, want, do not want any success. Lord, I will never be rich. Lord, I give up everything. I consecrate myself to you. There's, you are not on, the, on his feet. Actually, you are on his head. You are pressing him. <laughs> Better take care of me. I give up everything. But when you have some maturity, when you have some maturity, you're laying there under his feet. Lord, all what I need is mercy. Amen. Future? No. Career? No. Fame? No. Power? No. Wealth? No. Everything human being bragging about, they are nothing. Remember Solomon said, vanity of vanity. I have the wealth. I have the name, I have the power, I have the luxuries in the human life, in every aspect, but let me tell you, everything is vanity. When you have such a realization, you bring the Lord you have to the Lord. Lord, I'm under your feet. How good is here? Do you, now do you understand what deep consecration says, right? I says, who are you? I says, I'm Ruth, your female servants spread your cloak over your female servants for you are a kinsman it here has two meanings right one says uh, cover me protect me another is marry me spread your cloak over me because you are my kinsman you have the responsibility you have the duty to marry me so that my dead husband could have continuations according to the Lord's commandment. So please marry me, right? On one hand. On the other hand, protect me. Spread your cloak over me. Remember Boaz said, my daughter, take refuge in Jehovah's wind. May God fully recompense you, fully reward you. The same word, Hebrew word, wind, is the same word, cloak. Have your wind over me. It could mean both, right? On one hand, your wings my cover, my refuge. On the other hand, your wind carries me. Right? Remember, there is such a verse. We are on his wing, flying. Your wing carries me. I need a new beginning. I need a new life. I need a new consecration. I need new experiences. I need new following. I need new oneness with you. I need to be so one with you so I can bear testimony according to you. In chapter 1 and 2, I need your blessing. I need your mercy. I need your encouragement. I need your food. I need your care. No, no, that's not enough anymore. I like to be so one with you so I can carry your testimony. Amen. Oh, marvelous. Amen. Isn't the Bible wonderful? Amen. When Boaz tells him, you have come here to the refuge of Jehovah's wind. Then Ruth pray back, have your wind over me. Do you like it? Amen. I tell you, brother, only a fool do not read the Bible. When I say this, I'll have tears. So many of us treat the Bible too light. When you really study it, did you realize every word can be so meaningful? When boss was saying, you come, right, to take refuge under Jehovah's wind, and Ruth was saying, yes, but that wind is your wind. So now, he prayed out exactly the same thing. He said, spread your wing over your female servants. I must marry you, for you are a kinsman. I appreciate this consecration. The consecration is no longer, I'm in the church life, I'm blessed, I'm with my servants, hallelujah, and the Boaz really loves me, and he always stretch out something to me for me to take home. No, eventually the consecration is, I need Christ, I love Christ, I care for Christ, I care only Christ, I must have Christ, I will marry Christ, Christ will be everything to me, Amen. even though I'm in the church life. Amen. Christ become the center of all my consecration. Amen. 